Yeah, well, as you can see here, you've got first starting off the round with just a nice couple of 3Ks here. And it's just another, I think this is what leads into the ace that he's talking about on stage for the interview, so... Great work there by Fur. Yeah, Fur for being monumental in this series. I mean, we could talk all the numbers all day, but we're seeing Fur on overpass that he's known to get aggressive, get into their face, and really take the fight to him. And what we're going to do now is head over to Chad where he can break it down a little bit further, see what he's got. So that right there was your power play. Now, maybe there's a bit of deja vu in map number one because we've actually gone with the cold 0 1v3, but I want to show you something from 2017, a DreamHack Open Summer, whereas Mouse Sports versus SK, aka MIBR nowadays. So we're going to get this one playing, and I want you to really just notice this position. That's cold 0 again. Now, this is two years ago, right? So we're going to see a little bit of deja vu as this clutch is actually going to unfold, and I'll show you the similarities between this 1v4 situation, which he wins, which it doesn't have the same dire, I guess, consequences. They're only three, four rounds into this game. Cold Zero, though, he loves this spot. You can see how he's going to have to deal with this one. He's going to find himself with four quick, easy kills as all the Mouse Sports players try and swarm on in. And in one, two, there's the third. And he finishes Rops off, who's still on the team with the fourth. Now we're going to go through to the one from today. Very similar scenes you're going to be seeing. Same plant position. Cold Zero gets it down. Same spot. It's the default spot. It is what you expect, but it's the way that he plays around this position. So what I actually want to point out is you're going to see Phelps die. He's going to go down towards a player who's gone through middle. This kill comes in, but they're actually going to rotate back through kitchen. So what that means is Cold Zero this entire time has to be worried about a player coming from short. That is information that he's been given from that kill. As this unfolds, all three players are going to swarm through kitchen, and we're going to see him find just a similar scenario that he did two years ago. So this is a great spot for Cold Zero, another great clutch from him. And this is in a game where they were down 12 to 13. Much needed Cold Zero play here in Fur and Cold in this series. They're back to some vintage form, and this is awesome stuff to see, Trace.